This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck watching a bunch of short movies about the same thing, but this time things are a little bit different. Luck is Alive is a short new docufiction from Paul Ward set in Senegal that acts as a short profile of surfer Dame Samb. Yes, surfing is involved but it really does lean more into biography, as Dom's world is built up around him. As is his belief in animism, which posits that all things have life, including intangible concepts such as luck, which he specifically believes is what draws him to the ocean and to surfing. I'm not quite sure how, but I'm not going to question it. But yeah. Technically, this is yet another surfer film, but on the plus side, it does whatever it can to separate itself from the many other surfer shorts out there, several of which I've seen and reviewed in the past. It accomplishes this primarily through its visual style and thematic content, avoiding straightforward surfing footage or trying to aesthetically replicate the thrill of riding a wave. The first half of the short is loaded with more natural beauty shots, like a documentary that builds up both Dom's home and its people, and his personal beliefs in animism. The second half takes animism and the idea of luck and makes them real, doing this through various fantasy images and visual mediums, primarily CGI and animation, before ending it all with actual surfing which for me was honestly a bit surprising, given how little of it there was before. Hell, I actually wasn't sure if this was going to be a surfing film before that footage came up. The drawback to this approach is that more time is spent on images than action or theming or even documentary, I would say. It ends up leaning more into flashiness than any of those ideas since the visuals aren't necessarily tied into luck or animism. There are symbols of those things, but they pretty much just seem to be there for show. There is a nice variety in the pretty and spectacular graphics and imagination, but it's just not exactly in line with what is set up at the start, which just makes that seem more like some random or unimportant flavoring before getting to what the filmmakers think the audience wants. But, in retrospect, I honestly think I would have wanted more surfing. Luck is Alive, Paul Ward, 2022. Two and a half stars. I'd say that it's worth giving a watch, but it's not something you need to see right away. I'd probably recommend some other surfer film before this. That's it for the review, anyways. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. It's still nice that this is a surf movie with more to it besides surfing. Now, if only that everything else had more to it besides existing.